Joanne Cooper here. I am going to make a band in a box uh, video tutorial for you. If you've been enjoying these tutorials, I would appreciate it if you would think about uh, sponsoring me on patreon.com um, where for as little as a dollar a month you can become a patron and make suggestions on what videos you would like to see and what topics you would like me to cover. Go and check it out. It's www.patreon.com forward slash Joanne Cooper, but I will put a link down below. Thanks. Hello, Bad in a Box lovers. Joanne Cooper here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to generate an instrumental uh, break in your song that mirrors the um, the lead vocal. If you haven't got the time um, to record it on your instrument or if you're not proficient enough on your instrument to record it um, or proficient enough at typing in uh, MIDI, then you can generate um, MIDI from your lead vocal. Now I'm going to use uh, Melodyne for this demo, but you can do it inside uh, Real Band itself if you don't have Melodyne, but the quality of the MIDI file is better using Melodyne. So I'm going to do the demonstration first using Melodyne and then I'll show you uh, just at the end how you can use uh, Real Band to do this if you don't have Melodyne. So here I've got a song that I wrote over the weekend. It's uh, called Clear and Serene and I've just got a lead vocal um, here. So this is how it goes. So what I want to do is generate a, an instrumental that follows the lead vocal from bar um, 3 through to 11 because if you have a look I've got an instrumental break um, over here from bar 43 to 51 and the chords in that instrumental break are the same as the verses. So I want to use the verses uh, melody to generate um, an instrumental track. So I just select this this whole track and export it to a to a WAV file and then import the WAV file into Melodyne. Okay, so now the first thing to know, you must uh, set the uh, the tempo to be exactly the same as the tempo of your real band session. Otherwise, your um, MIDI track won't line up. So in my case, the tempo is eighty five, um, and I set the Melodyne session to tempo 85 as well and then I go import audio and then import the um, the lead vocal so I haven't named these very well but anyway um, untitled track is uh, my lead vocal now um, it's better to to tune your vocal first before you generate the MIDI uh, file because obviously the more accurate your lead vocal is the more accurate your MIDI is going to do the B so I have already tuned my vocal um, and now you just go file export um, save it as a MIDI so for pull down MIDI and the entire length and go export and then put it into a folder I'm just going to put it into my band in a box folder um, 5090 clear and serene and I always just create a new folder with all my output um, from Melodyne okay now uh, go back to your real band session just go to the beginning of a blank track and then go file, import, and then um, import this MIDI track that you've just created, okay? That you'll see there is a MIDI, a MIDI track. So just import that. I'm going to close my Melodyne session because otherwise it won't, it won't play while um, in real band because it hogs the, uh, it seems to hog the audio interface. Anyway, okay, so there you can see it's, there's a MIDI um, track that kind of follows that lead vocal. If I solo it and just solo the lead vocal, you'll be able to hear it. Before I was in a box, but with you, I okay, so the first thing to notice is you might have to do a little bit of editing. Um, there was a little bit of a funny there that it, that, that it had generated that I didn't really like. It got, I want to 
want to get rid of a couple of those notes. So if you just go to the piano roll here and you edit the, the MIDI inside the piano roll view, okay? And you might want to get rid of a lot of these extra notes. Just play it and see which notes you want to get rid of and just edit them. So... So I, I don't want that, I want one long note there, so I just edit it, literally, inside the piano roll. And you, you'll probably find you have to get rid of a lot of the notes because it tends to um, make the MIDI a little bit more uh, complex than the, than the vocal is. So edit it until you're completely happy with how the MIDI sounds, okay? Right, then um, you might want to change the instrument. I use Dimension Pro, um, but you can, you, you obviously can use whatever um, synth you've got. Uh, you can change it to a guitar. Uh, let's have a look, listen to that. Or strings. Okay, that hasn't changed it. Let's try this. Change that one. Let's change that to strings. Violin. See if that works. Okay. Obviously, these are the um, the native sounds that come with my computer, so they're not great. But if you've got a synth inside your um, inside your package, I use Dimension Pro to generate my actual sounds. It'll sound a lot better than the the generic sounds that come with your with your laptop, with your, or your PC. Um, then just once you've got the instrument uh, and everything sounding like you want it, just select the whole track and go edit, MIDI, um, sorry, sorry, ed right click and go co auto convert individual track to audio track, okay, destination track, just type in the next blank track, in this case it's 16, Okay, and for some reason it doesn't work the first time ever, so I'm just going to delete it and do it again. I don't know why that happens, but uh, Real Band has got some idiosyncrasies that you just get used to. So I'll try again, convert it. Okay, there we go, now it's converting. Can't see anything. Make it a little bit louder. See if I can see anything. Make the whole track a little bit louder. See if I can see anything. There we go. Right. Okay, so now I've got a I've got some audio. Right, so if that's all I wanted, um, I could just copy that bar uh, three through eleven to my instrumental break and then I would just have a single um, instrument, a, a single line melody following the lead vocal that I, that I recorded. But um, if I wanted to generate a, a, a harmony part, I can just highlight the, the, the MIDI, MIDI track and go generate and then just say generate MIDI harmony. Okay, and I just select uh, country guitar three part, but you can experiment with whatever um, these MIDI, uh, these um, harmony parts are that you want. So press OK, and you just say put the harmonies onto multiple new tracks. And there we go. So now I have got three um, harmony tracks. This is the original melody, voice one. And then you've got one harmony and another harmony. So if I just solo those, you'll be able to hear the um, MIDI in three-part harmony. There's the just, there's just the single line. one harmony there's the other harmony okay so again I can just um, uh, convert these MIDI tracks into audio um, I can change the instrument I can have um, different instruments playing each harmony so I could have a flute playing that harmony and a 
piano playing that harmony, I can really do whatever I want. And then convert them into audio tracks. And then again, just copy them into um, your instrumental break. And away you go. And just pan these to either side and away you go. So that's, that's it really. Um, that's how I did my harmonies. Um, I'll just play you the the final one that I created the other day for this this song so this this track has got quite a lot of vocal harmonies and all sorts of things I'm going to do a tutorial on how I how I record my vocal harmonies as well but there we go so I have got three harmonies and um, they are guitar parts which I've generated using the Um, the other thing, other tip that you can try using um, that I used for this is, is, is I transposed one of these harmony uh, tracks up by a whole octave first. That's how I got this very, very high, um, high track here. Um, and in order to do that, you literally just go uh, edit, MIDI, and pitch transpose and then type in 12 and it'll transpose the MIDI track up by 12 or down or wherever you wherever you want to go with that. Um, so I just wanted to show you quickly how to uh, to generate a MIDI file inside Real Band if you don't have Melodyne. If you don't have Melodyne, you just select this whole track. Okay, select the, the vocal that you want to uh, create a MIDI file for, um, go edit, MIDI, pitch uh, to MIDI convert, current audio track. And I didn't mess about with anything here, I just said process. And uh, the MIDI file, um, the MIDI track will be in the first, very first um, track in your, in your real band project. So if I go and have a look here. There is the the MIDI track that it's convert that it's converted from the lead audio. Now you you will notice when you when you start messing about with this that the quality of the MIDI track is not as good using this method as it um, it is with Melodyne. Melodyne is a better tool for converting um, audio to MIDI. But it it's you know once you get good at editing um, MIDI, then you can use this. You know it just looks like it's a little bit busier there's a lot more notes here so you're gonna have to do a lot a lot more editing inside real band to get the midi sounding like you want it see it's got a lot more notes so you're gonna have to do a lot more editing to get the midi to sound sound like you want it if you're going to use real band to generate the midi file Okay, so let me know if there are any questions about this technique, and I would love to hear your results using this technique. Okay, bye for now.